What's up, guys? We're Tastosis, and this is the GSL Codex. We've got a kick-ass group today. Artie, come yes. here. You have something on your mic. I just got it off. You're so sweet. Hold on, hold on. There's a little bit more here. Okay. You're good to go. Let's you talk about this You should have seen group. earlier. You spit on a napkin and rubbed some chocolate <laughs> off my I gave you a cheek. spit bath? Yeah. Uh, today's group is, is absolutely uh, incredible. Today's group, group a lot of out. people did call the group of death, yeah. and uh, it's an insane group. I can't wait for this one. It's so ridiculous. True tie, deer, and parting has a little bit of something for everyone. Absolutely. Uh, we are getting close to the end of this phase of the tournament. Pretty soon here we're going to be in the round of 16. In fact, tomorrow, our last day of the round of 32. That's right. Uh, wow, it's gone really fast. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what happens when we did two weeks of three days. So uh, really ripping right through there. And I can't wait for, of course, uh, the round of 16 to start, Tasis. Yeah, we're already uh, eliminating so many players here. As you can see below, here is a list of the players that have advanced for the round of 16. Cure Innovation, Maru Reality for Terran, for Protoss, SOS Stats, Rain, and Zest. And finally, for the Zergs, Effort, Soul Key, Sue, and DRG. You can't really get a better list than this. Yeah. And <laughs> as far as balance goes, look at that, guys. 4-4-4. Four, four, and four. This means that uh, Taryn happening. is actually imbalanced and yes. Protoss is underpowered because look <laughs> at the percentages of the races that went through. Um, it is exciting to not have an entirely Protoss dominant. Yeah. Um, and the Protoss that, that are we left have so are insanely good. These yeah. are the best. Uh, if you've missed some of the previous GSL codices, we did have this point in time where, I mean, it was really Protoss heavy. We had some uh, Terrans like Maru who were still able to do very mm -hmm. well. Uh, uh, several solid Zergs, but for the most part, it was more Protosses than you could yeah. even keep track of. So Which this is, is funny cool. because the first race that was really super shafted way back was Protoss. Yeah, it was Terran that was winning, like, everything. We yeah. casted so many TVTs uh, back in the early days of Wings of Liberty. And then, uh, I mean, all the races have had their ups and downs, but, uh, yeah, for most of this year... The Protosses were doing very well. We still might have a Protoss champion here this time around. Oh, absolutely. Rain is looking, I think, probably just about better than anybody, to be yeah, perfectly honest. Yeah, he's looking pretty unstoppable. Yeah, uh, but some of these guys looking insanely good themselves, right? Like Sue, for instance, still looks like he's someone who could get to the finals. Uh, our and Terran wouldn't player that be is really crazy showing if he through. got to the finals again. That would be crazy. But this That's time Rain e beats him. Fan That's perfect for me. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. Um,. So we're going to go to the interviews shortly here uh, and see what our players are thinking. I'm curious to see how much trash talk we're going to have here. I'd say... Uh, I think it's going to be pretty t tame today, Taste. Like, I'd say for these players... Except for parting, of course. Yeah. Parting besides always parting, most to, of these guys are pretty tame. Yeah. I don't expect much from TY as far as the trash no, talk No, <laughs> not a whole lot. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, come down to our studio. Um, entry's free. And we're doing this great coin, uh, GSL coin giveaway. That's right. So you come down here. If uh, I think you get a coin for just coming down here. But if you make a sign and say something to uh, make Artosis feel good about himself yeah. on the sign. <laughs> That's generally how you get on camera, and then you get two GSL coins. Yeah. So for all you pirates out there, you could make an Artosis sign. Oh and, my uh, God! Get some GSL coins. What we need to do now is cue in that uh, the pirate voice <laughs> from uh, Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> All right, so now on to our interview. Today, we are considering this group to be the group of death. Today, we are considering this group to be the group of death. She says she's even nervous to meet these players one by one. They're all so deadly. Today, we are considering this group to be the group of death. So, this was our best player in the last season. We have high expectations for him this time around. It's Jin Airwing's true. Today, we are considering this group to be the group of death. It's Jin Airwing's true. 네, 자 오랜만에 뵙는데 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? So it's been a while. Have you been? 네. 해외 좀 대회 다니면서 일찍 떨어져 가지고. Well, I attempted 네. to qualify. 여행 많이 하고 왔어요. 네, 주성 선수 얘기 들으니까 재밌게 놀고 오셨다고 uh, 하더라고요. Ma ma 자 이번 시즌 abroad. 다시 한번 시작을 합니다. 소감이 어떠세요? 아 이번 시즌 네 
조를 보니까 친한 동생들이 많아가지고 그냥 편하게 그냥 편하게 아 정말 편하세요 느낌이 어떠셨어요? 딱 편성이 보는 순간 이제 제가 원래 조가 항상 좋았었는데 아 이제 곰TV가 나를 버렸구나 You know, I feel like I used to uh, have a good group. 아닙니다. 저희 결승전 때 혹시 영상 보셨는지 모르겠는데 지난 시즌 최고의 어록을 남긴 선수로 선정이 되셨어요. 이번 조진영 씨때 활약하시길 바라고 있거든요. 자신 있으신가요? Last season you were expected the. 아 조진영 씨 가면은 재밌을 것 같은데. 네. Excuse me, sorry. 오늘이 좀 고비일 것 같아요. 네, 고비일 것 같다. 첫 오늘 첫 상대가 전태양 선수인데 데뷔 어떻게 하셨나요? 아, 제가 테라는 uh, 좀 많이 싫어해가지고. 네. 네. 오늘 테라 때문에 대회 다 떨어지거든요. 네. 네. 그래가지고. Well, you know, 테라는 전 연습하는데 really 너무 많이 싫어해요. 네. 그래가지고. So I focus mostly on that matchup. 네. 얼마 전에 그. 명량인가? 네. 그걸 보고 왔어요. ZBC, 네. ZBC, ZBC match. 그래서 오늘 갑자기 명량. 네. 네. 명량을 보고 와가지고. So a couple 네. uh, days ago, I watched. 그 전술. 네. 전술로. I watched this Korean movie. It's really famous for to boost my confidence. 아, 그 오늘 이순신 전략인가요? And I learned strategy from the movies. I believe that's an old war movie. 오늘 정말 기대가 되는데요. 오늘 활약 기대하겠습니다. The name of the movie was Nung Myung. 네. 자 이번 시즌 최고의 어로 예약했습니다. 오늘 이순신 전략. I wonder if it was a movie about making a lot of circles because that's generally how he rolls. 습니다. 무려 1년 반 만에 돌아왔는데요. Well, kind of let's go and meet our 가겠습니다. next player now. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네. 어, 정말 오랜만에 TY. 오셨는데요. 코드에서 소감이 어떠세요? 어, 제가 좀 개인이가 계속 so 미련이 없었는데 uh, 어렵게 올라온 만큼 또 says, yeah, 높은 you know, 성적 거두고 싶고요. I haven't been very lucky in my individual leagues. 네, but since I'm here in CODES, I really want to perform well today. <웃음> 어떠셨어요? 어, 사실 상대하는 선수들이 다 You're in the group of death. How do you feel about that? 굉장히 GSL에서 오래 머뭇, 머물렀던 선수들이고 다 잘하는 Since 선수들이라 yeah, 네. 어, All my opponents are really tough 굉장히 players. 굉장히 연습을 열심히 했고요. 근데 네. And they've all been 어, making really good results in previous individual leagues, so I've practiced a lot. Uh, uh, if I win my first match, I think I can uh, play as I want. Uh, well, the last season, Drew was the one player that I think I can play as I want. Well, the last season, Drew was the one player that I think I can play as I want. Well, the last season, Drew was the one player that I think I can play as I want. Well, the last season, Drew was the <laughs> 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 he says, if I watched that movie that he watched, I get pretty yeah. much written a strategy, but I missed that movie, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of strategy are we pulling off tonight? Ah, 진짜 명량을 보지 못한 게 천추의 한이 될 수도 있을 것 같은데. 그런데 고강민 코치가 같이 동반하셨더라고요. 조언해 주신 거 없나요? So your coach came here with you today. They give you the impression of your match. Oh, this is my coach is going to be going to the army into this month. So he's been pretty busy. 경기 외적인 부분에서 많이 도움이 됐던 것 같아요. 네. So I haven't had a lot of help with practice, but mentally he's been keeping me in good condition. 되는데요. 오늘 코드 S 32강전 각오 들어보겠습니다. So your coach. 이렇게 어렵게 올라온 만큼 꼭. 좋은 성적 any, 거두고 any 싶고 어, 팬분들도 많이 찾아와 주셨는데 yes, 꼭 좋은 경기 보여드려가지고 so 먼저 오시는 만큼 좀 어, 기쁘게 돌아갈 수 있도록 하겠습니다. 전태현 선수 좋은 결실 기대하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 오늘 쥐조 세 번째로 나서는 선수는요. 세번 뽑고 있고 돌아왔습니다. 코드 A 때 정말 멋진 기량으로 코드에서 기대감을 안겨주셨는데요. 삼성 갤럭시 칸 백동준 선수 만나보겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 삼성 갤럭시 칸 백동준입니다. Hello. 네, 자 코드 A와는 달리 Hello, I'm from Samsung and 현재 새 Galaxy 유니폼을 입고 오셨습니다. 새 유니폼 입고 이렇게 첫 코드 S잖아요. 소감이 어떠세요? She says you look good in your new uniform. 코드 S 오랜만에 오는 것 같아서 약간 기분이 새롭고 네, 긴장이 좀. You know, it's been a while since I've been in Code S. 네, 현재 이 적응하는 so 시간도 조금 걸릴 텐데 적응은 어느 정도 되셨나요? 네, 팀원들이 다 친하게 Do you feel like you've adjusted well to your new team? 거의 끝났어요. So yeah, my teammates have been really good to me. Ah, the overall mood is good. So all three races are. Yeah, the practice again. 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 Yeah, the
19대 인터뷰 때도 그렇고 so <웃음> 동료들의 <웃음> yeah, 증언에 따르면 이번 시즌 우승에 대한 열망이 정말 크다고 들었는데 자신 있으신가요? Uh, many of your teammates 네, have mentioned about you, dear, uh, having 네, a lot of passion, really wanting to win this time around. He says, yes, I really want to win this GSL. 네, 오늘 깔끔하게 2승으로 네, 올라가도록 하겠습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 오늘 활약 기대하겠습니다. I'm going to take the first spot and move 네. to the next round. She says, good luck. And now on to our fourth player. The big question, 만나보겠습니다. will he talk about the movie that True talked about? <웃음> We're going to find out now. 만나보겠습니다. 안녕하세요. It is party. 안녕하세요. <웃음> 네, 나오시자마자 응원이 대단합니다. 인기를 증명하는 거겠죠? 자, 코데스 소감이 어떠세요? As he walked in, all the fans are cheering for you. How do you feel? 제 집에 온 거고 여기는 코데에는 제가 있을 수가 없고요. Yeah, I feel just like I'm at home. 두번 다시 거기 가기 싫어요. 그리고 네, you know, this is 11 consecutive codes. This is nothing. <웃음> <웃음> 역시 권희 선수는 이곳에 있으셔야죠. 지금 팬들이 엄청 기대하고 계신 것 같은데 좀 부담이 되나요? 어떠신가요? 아, 저는 so 뭐 항상 스포트라이트 받기 때문에 때문에 네. 이게 뭐 당연한 you 거고 pressure? 당연한 만큼 팬들한테 기대 You know, I've only been in this spot <웃음> <웃음> so this is just natural. 깔끔하게 <웃음> 이겨야 될것 같아요. So no, I don't really get nervous. 어, 그런데 명량을 보셨는지 모르겠네요. Place. 오늘 참 oh. 중요한 변수가 될것 같아요. So did you watch that movie that Drew watched? 명량은 안 봤는데 빨리 인터넷을 켜서 명량 좀 후기 같은 걸 봐야 될것 같아요. 그래서 I think I'm going to search the internet and see what good story is in this movie. 오늘 조회에서 가장 어려운 상대가 될것 같은 선수를 꼽는다면 어떤 선수가 있을까요? Who do you think is the toughest opponent here tonight? 아무도 없어요. Oh,그런가요? <laughs> 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 <
we're going to be going on to uh, the next part, the part where the games start or toast us. It's true. T.Y., Deer, and Party. It's insane. Some of them saw that movie. Others did not. That's right. We're going to find out how much that movie helped here. Time to who, who do you think comes out of this group, Tasteless? Um, okay, I'm, I'm thinking Parting. Yeah. And I have no idea. Parting and I have no idea. I have to go with T.Y., man. The T. fact y, that True is basing his strategy really? off of a movie that he saw, I don't think he has any chance. <laughs> that and Widow Mines and Thors are better now. <laughs> I mean... It's a tough one because this group is so stacked. Uh, all these guys have very different play styles. They've all had great results. T.Y., it's so weird seeing how much older he looks. Uh, I've I know, been right? casting in Korea. Uh, we're getting close to seven years, Artosis. That's right. Um, and I've been casting T.Y. all the way back when he was baby. That's right. Was, His ID was, was baby, baby, and I believe he was like 12. Something like that. It was something crazy. Uh, super, super young. And so he's changed his idea to T.Y., I guess, because he can't stay a baby forever. That's right. Uh, you don't want to be called baby when you get older. It's not a name that grows well with you. Yeah. It's not. But it was a pretty cool name at the time. You know, I, I got to put you on, on the spot here, actually, because yeah, this is something that actually popped up in, in my mind. Uh, your, your new cat, your new little baby kitten. Yeah. Named Fuzzums. Fuzzums the cat, yeah. Yeah. What happens when Fuzzums becomes like eight years old? Does Fuzzums still work as a name for this cat? Well, Fuzzums then gets the name T.Y. I think that's the, the <laughs> proper oh, process. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good All right. Now. We have True over here. He's like, oh, God, I don't have a mouse. <laughs> I don't have a keyboard or a mouse. What am I going to do? They put a trackball in my booth. <laughs> I got to play this on an Xbox controller. This isn't right. Oh, man. Well, I know what strats he'd be using then. Uh, you know, this guy, very strong Zerg tastes. Did knock out T.Y. before. Yep. Uh, so, see if he can do that here again. I don't think he's actually going to use the movie strategy. I don't think some we random We need to know. Korean someone tweeted like, us what this movie's about so that we can actually talk yeah. about the movie. Someone sent us an IMDB of it or something. Mm -hmm. Youngman, I believe it's what it's called. Yeah, Youngman. Youngman. A Korean movie. You know, for those of you who are watching, here's a little fun fact. Artosis and I voice acted in one of the biggest budget Korean movies. The biggest budget yeah. Korean movie it's of all the biggest. time. We, our voices Hyundai. were in the movie Hyundai. It's a, a, a movie about a, a tsunami that comes and uh, destroys, and destroys Busan. Busan. Yeah. And you can hear our voices. I am, Artosis is the radio control voice, and yeah. I am I am the voice of the rescuer running around on the boat. That's right. Yeah. In fact, that was Tasis as well, dropped on that <laughs> on that rope onto the boat. He yeah, why don't we just people. say that? Why don't we just say that was me as an actor yeah. running around on the boat? And although it's a guy in a mask on, they didn't like the original voice, so they used my voice yeah. as, a, as a guy who's running around screaming on a boat. But so so yeah, it's a, it's there's a, a question. Right they there. see that? You know, movie. I own that Blu-ray disc. I, I, apparently, I think you can go on YouTube and find it, like Taste or Toast's Hyundai movie. And you'll oh, hear that's the funny. Voice. It's really easy to hear your voice. I don't know if you can hear mine as well. It's well, me I just screaming like I don't want to die. We truth, gotta get out truth of here. be told, my lines were better, and I actually I delivered them <laughs> a bit better than you did. To be perfectly frank, if one of us were to I go into we movies, it would be me. The sound studio. I think you had to say. Come on, let's go! And they made you say it so many times, like, okay, can you say come on a little bit slower? And every time you went, come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, that was That fun. was a very interesting That was uh, long ago, was man. That was like uh, our that first was good year five years ago or yeah, so. Yeah, something like that. Five or six years ago. All right, so True saw the movie. T.Y. also saw the movie. And True said he learned something from the movie. We'll see if no, T.Y. No, T.Y. said uh, he hasn't seen the movie. No, T.Y. said he had seen the movie before. Oh, no, that was Deer that said yeah, that. Yeah, Deer right. saw it. Okay. It's time now for game number one, our first best of three here between True and T.Y. Over here in the upper right, a very yeah. solid Zerg. Gene Air Green Wings, True. And in the upper left, in the red, formerly known as Baby. KT Roaster TY. I swear to God, if I was playing in this, I would right now like start turning my head very slowly towards the camera, like super slow, <laughs> and like eventually look directly at it. <laughs> because that could oh. absolutely be done well, on the amount of, of time. Well, speaking of looking directly on. at the camera, I think it's what we're going to have to do now. There's it would be like this. I would be like playing, and they'd be like, Artosis, and then it's... Oh, we're going to look at this camera. 
<laughs> something like that because there's actually enough time to do like one of those yeah. very slow well, we, delivery. We made, we made the camera turns. shots a little bit uh, longer on the player face, so we could do that. A little bit longer. You turn your face slowly. Yeah, like really camera, slow. You, you wink like that, or you go like this. <laughs> it just goes back into the game. Uh. Um, so uh, we have a delay. I don't know what the problem is. This happens sometimes at the start of a game. It's sometimes a like a monitor problem or keyboard problem, mouse problem. Yeah, probably. We'll see what it is. Yeah. But uh, it's merry go round TVZ should be yeah. a good match. Um, we'll have to see uh, how Ty does here. He has not been performing as well as he's wanted to in individual leagues. Uh, he didn't do that poorly in Brood War individual leagues, did he? No, he did reasonably yeah. well. I mean, he's not a champion. But he was somebody but, uh, who got like round of 16. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Round of 32. He's, he's, he's made it pretty deep before. I don't remember so. exactly how deep because uh, I think he maybe the best of his career were things after StarCraft 2 came out, and I didn't really keep track after that. So, Well, if we get notified what uh, the technical issue is, we'll be sure to fill you guys in for the time being. I don't know. We have all well, the players are still in the booth right now. So I think we're going to get some settings adjusted here. So just sit tight, guys. And um, we'll, uh, we got a little bit of time to kill our toasts. Yes, we certainly do. We do. So what did you do this past weekend? Um, I played uh, Hearthstone a lot. Yeah? And uh, I actually have my, my wrist hurts. You got I got a little bit of the, like tendonitis. Tasis is going to be the first player ever to get carpal tunnel from playing Hearthstone. This is very exciting, actually. No, I, I really, it's hurting my wrist. Like, right, I, I got it going on up in here, man. It you got to make sure your arms are going down. Yeah, we were talking about this before the cast. I actually have my chair like a little bit lower than the desk, so I guess my hands are up like this, and that's, that. that's, that's how you hurt yourself. The most unnatural, terrible. It's weird because I've actually never had any uh, wrist pains from playing StarCraft, but I'm wondering if it's just the computer chair I have now. It's pretty you got to get a taller one so or that must put some be cushions on it or something. Something like that, man. Yeah, you need a booster so, seat. Another thing to keep in mind. Oh, okay. T.Y. had some problems with his keyboard. He didn't set up his hotkeys. For shame. Um, <laughs> for shame, For T. shame. T.Y. Um, what was I about to say? Oh. Uh, something about you need a booster seat. Yeah, you need to have your chair up. Higher. Oh, by the way, also, for those of you guys watching, something that will help your back out a lot is if you put some books on top, uh, underneath your monitor. Most people have their monitors too low. Oh, yeah. And you actually end up going, you yeah, end up no, doing I, what we do when we cast, we're down here like this. Yeah. You just completely do that. hunched over, we turn into roly-poly bugs. Yeah. <laughs> and then the rock comes up, which is the lights coming on, and we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Well, I guess, uh, hopefully T.Y. can get his settings. Yeah. Oh, I don't imagine so that I don't he has that many hotkeys different. It's not I like he's not. setting up the core right now, so. Um, what did you do this week at Artosis? Oh, uh, I did a little bit of casting for the Iron Forum night. Uh, that was pretty fun. And uh, just spent time with the baby and the wife as they are uh, going to Canada for That's uh, right. like three weeks. You're a bachelor now, Artosis. Uh, it's, I, time well, your, it's time for your I don't your know house. if I'd use that word, but yeah. You're doing, no, you're living the bachelor life right now. Your, your apartment's about to get really, really gross. It Probably. Yeah. I'm going to play a lot of StarCraft and, uh, you know, I'm going to try to be a good... Uh, a good person. Oh, and for clarification, it was actually uh, true, not T.Y. Oh, that okay. didn't have the keyboard set up properly. Yeah. Uh, now it's, yeah. the, 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 I, I want to warn you ahead of time, Artos, is, uh, it's going to start with your computer desk getting nasty. Oh, my computer desk is already nasty, actually. Uh, I broke a glass on it. The glass is still all there. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> this was this is kind of an interesting game already because... I don't think that's nasty. I think that's dangerous, Artos. It is. I got glass, glass in my foot the other desk. day. Oh, my God. That's it terrible. Up. It was only a little sliver. It didn't make it bleed or anything. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try to be good and feet. keep my house clean and, you know, eat healthy, all that stuff. But, anyways. Um, well, good luck with that, Artosis. Yeah, thanks. we got thanks. the SCV coming out now. <laughs> um, and it's a hatch first. Then a pool here for the Zerg. Yeah, this was... Uh, you know, they both sent out, it was going to be a proxy racks for sure. Uh, but unfortunately for TY, True had sent out a drone. Maybe part of that movie was scouting early. <laughs> um, so that, you know, just transitioning into a repro. I'm trying to figure out what movie else, True could have watched to bring up. It's a war this. movie. It must be, but I mean, unless it's Starship Troopers, I don't know how much application it could have. Well, you know, there's, I, I think that like uh, some general themes of war and stuff, like, you can like get ideas from, you know, like don't overcommit your forces, <laughs> and like 
I don't know. It's just there's all sorts of you know art of war junk. You read that book, right? Uh, actually, I just bought it finally. It's like it's really I short read, read it yet, really though. really short read, but really I'll, good. I'll read it over the next couple of weeks for sure. Okay, we have a bunker being made over here, and the Reaper uh, just now comes up. Oh, just some like making sure that you don't know, damage that egg before he goes by. <laughs> um, and there's a command center now being made on the low ground. Link's speed has started. This bunker uh, is going to complete, it looks like. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he can always just sell it anyways. And this is at least some nice pressure. I'm not sure what he's actually going to get done because True is way too smart to like just send stuff down to die. Looks like he's going to send a queen to start. Um, I think the drones can't really mind, uh, or mine, excuse me, the, um, yeah. from the minerals there. But I'm pretty sure he could tech the mutas and kill it before that hatch dies. Oh, we do have those... Uh, Reaper's actually popping out to hurt this queen a little bit. Second queen does come down to help out. Um, for the time being, uh, this is just buying time, keeping the, the Zerg busy while the Terran catches up with an expansion mm -hmm. here. Uh, there's absolutely no way the hatch will be killed here. <laughs> no, certainly not. Um, so for the time being, he's just pulling up some links. He'll eventually have to start salvaging this uh, or risk losing money. Yeah, and uh, I think that won't be too much an issue. Gonna have to pull that queen back, and it looks like he's gonna have to get out of here for now. Speed is about to finish, and oh, he's actually gonna get the kill. Very nicely done there by True. Okay, he comes up now, and he gets oh. some of these drones. This is actually huge. Yeah, this was something that True absolutely was not ready for here. This is a ton of drone kills. This, like, never happens in TVZ anymore, so this is really weird to see now. The Reaper is actually getting in there and doing a lot of damage, and it's not just your usual dance that, uh, has been mastered a thousand times mm -hmm. over. Okay, so a lot of workers killed. Six drones that's, killed there. That's brutal. I would totally give up those three Reapers early on for those six drones. Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, but you know what? At least True sees exactly what's going on. It's reactor Hellions into a third command. Not that uncommon of a build, of course. Okay. Um, the game is going to normalize a little bit here. i got to say True with a very strong start. This is... Uh, similar to the way True has always been, all the way even to, into the Brood War days, he was always good, in, uh, especially the early game. Yeah. That, that or, I'm sorry, uh, T.Y., excuse me. T.Y. Well, I think he's, like, so solid throughout. He's definitely one of the better Terrans in the entire world. Like, uh, you know, I know he hasn't really done anything in individual leagues. In Pro League, he has done very well. Very skilled guy. Uh, like, whenever I think of him, I also think of uh, innovation in the same breath because Bogus and Baby were basically like the same human. They were like these 12 year old amazing Terran prodigies in StarCraft 1 that are now here in StarCraft 2 kicking a lot of ass. Uh, but so far, of course, innovation has done much, much better than TY. But I think that TY uh, definitely can catch up to well, where he's I feel like TY is a guy at. that's overshadowed a lot by. Yeah. Uh, it would just by comparison to a lot of the other Terran pros, but he's he's very solid. He's been around for a very long time. Mm. And I think it's also a very special case when you get somebody who's playing games as young as him. Yeah. Uh, His brain just works differently than ours because he's basically raised on it's this. It's like, like learning a language. Starcraft didn't um, even come out till we were like 15 or something. Yeah, I think I was 14, you were 15. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it is an interesting thing. By the way, a couple Widow Mines popping out. And Whoa. he's just going to go ahead and kill an Overlord to start. I really That's like cute. this. Like, this is really cool to see just Widow Mines randomly walking out, right? He has a bunch of Hellions. The Widow Mines are a lot improved right now. Why not walk around with them? He has map control. He can kill some stuff. It's not like they even take that long to burrow. So. No, not too long. It also makes it uh, not really an option to try to do a mass Ling Surround on mm -hmm. the uh, Hellions because the, the Widow Mines just burrow and blow everything yeah. up. By the way, we have like eight queens about to be out because he's making a couple more. So that's going to be a lot of creep tumors, a lot of creep spread, and good defense since he has six queens at the front of his creep right now. But TY trying to find a way around it. Uh, here come the uh, Heliots coming through here now. Oh, and the Widow Mines do come out and yeah, some nice, nice hits. Trancy is there on the queen. Yeah. The Heliots get zoned out a little bit further. Oh, I like this. He's going to go ahead and make a spore crawler to actually kill these Widowmines. He's standing close enough that if they do unburrow, he's going to get some kills. So was this an overcommitment of, of these Widowmines? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, if they had ki if he had gotten two queens with it, if they hadn't gotten transfused, then I think it would have been pretty awesome. Spore but crawler actually oh is not going to finish before the mines yeah, have was, reloaded. It was a little bit late oh there. Oh, my so. God. Oh, wow. This could actually be. <gasps> oh, that was. And he actually only ends up getting one. Yeah. All right, well, eight queens still left. That's a little timing. We don't ever get to see Artosis. No. We, we were watching that. I really thought that the uh, sport color would get done a little yeah. quicker, but um, that's cool. So 
Now you guys know roughly the timing between a sport crawler making and a widow mine yeah. reloading. If he started a little bit quicker, <laughs> yeah. that would have killed him. But uh, look at this. We have the upgrades for both players. Pretty even. Third base coming down right now for our Terran player. Uh, you know, he's got so many queens right now. I find this quite interesting because we see him do that a lot in uh, Zerg vs. Protoss as what well. He loves to go heavy queen. Yeah. He's kind of like the Neo Lucera. That's a good way to put lots it. Lots of lots of queens. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lucera was so queen heavy. Um, I think it's actually, uh, it can be very effective if you know how to do it right. Yeah, uh, certainly. This is an interesting spot to drop. Looks like he just went over the creep. And now seeing that he's spotted, realizes I might as well just get an Overlord here. And he's going to try to get some of those queens. It does oh. not do that. Hellions poke in here. He got one of the medevacs. Oh my god, did he? That's awesome. Yeah, he did. You're absolutely right. Very well done. So, so far, this uh, harassment really not doing a whole lot for TY. Of course, he did get a, a lot of drone kills early on with those three Reapers, but hasn't been able to follow it up with too, too much. Now, it looks like, I mean, we have Baneling Speed on the way. 1-1's one about to finish. Burrow on the way as well. But I don't see, like, too much of a plan for the fourth. When is the fourth going to be coming up here for True? It's a good question. Um, I got to say, I think TY... Has definitely lost more than he's gained so far with the drop, considering he lost that one medevac. But he's doing a pretty good job of wiping out some creep, mm. pushing back some queens. While well, he's pushing forward now, has some Widow Mines mixed in here. There are the Banelings. Baneling speed is on the way, but won't finish for a little bit still. He definitely has a Zerg spread out. There is a small counterattack on the possibility of one over here in the bottom left. Okay, oh, oh yeah. my god, a lot of Banelings. <laughs> I thought those were just Zerglings. Yeah, that's actually kind of a big deal right there. And with Baneling speed about to finish and the fact that he has 1-1, one, one, He's going to be able to do a lot of damage here, Tasteless. Uh, right now, Terran backs up. TY getting into a defensive position. I like the uh, depot wall in just mm. above the command center, but it might not protect him from anything. Zerg's going to throw at him here. Here come those Banelings now. Oh, man. He's just going for it at the moment. Actually gets Ugh. that Widowmine as well. Takes out the bunker. And he has Burrow as well, Tasteless. And he really could utilize that. But hold on. He's actually just going to go for SCVs. He's coming here now. Um, and it looks like he's going to wipe out more and more workers. Meanwhile, Lings and Bailey's coming down over here. This attack hitting from so many different sides could uh, really knock T.Y. off of his feet here. Uh, we have some Hellbats here with the Marines, but those take extra damage as well from Bailey's. Meanwhile, another drop going down. Uh, I got to say, actually, both players taking some heavy hits right now, but I, I, from the Zerk perspective, this is definitely better for him. Yeah. We have the drops from T.Y. that are a little bit scary, but I don't think it's enough to actually tilt the game in a Terrence favor. Meanwhile, SCV is not even mining uh, over here from the third, the second. Uh, actually, SCV is not mining there as well. And in the main, the only place where the SCVs are, mm. we've had so many workers killed so far. Well, you know, there are some good things for TY right now, even though yeah. that looked like really nicely done uh, from his opponent. thing is, Lings and Banes aren't like long-term units. He's not building anything for the late game. Like, he's not getting more and more mutas. This isn't a prolonged harassment. That was a very powerful attack, yes. But when everything's dead, everything's dead. Oh. So, oh, wow. Well, I guess well, it's, because not, it's not enough to come. I thought maybe some of those SUVs yeah. were injured. Not too much while. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, <laughs> like, looking at this, the uh, the only thing that's, like, really good for the long term that, that True is doing, oh, my God. Wow, that, that actually got some banelings. That, yeah, that True is doing is getting 2-2. Two -two. So, like, he's still on three bases. Yeah, he killed a lot. But I'm actually kind of well, liking this for TY. If True doesn't kill TY in a little bit here, TY wins the game. Yeah. Zerg is not going to stay operational off three bases. Yeah, you, it's I just mean, not going to work. Just making Lings and Banes isn't really a strat. Like, this is like Kyrick Zenith, like retired a long time ago, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, we don't see a lot of um, Zergs try this style, but it is a, a way to approach this is to just mm. try to match the Terran's army. Yeah. In the hopes that if you uh, get a few good Baneling hits, you can actually go to the third base and just wipe it out. Totally. So here's a very late fourth base here for Trill. Yeah. Um, it's, it's so insane. He's got to take it because, I mean, he's eventually, you know, you just get enough money for the hatchery, so you might as well make it there. But it's a very late fourth. I mean, he'd have to do a lot of damage to TY for this game to pan out nicely. That's that's true. And now, uh, in I don't fairness, think he's that's already done. Happen. He's already done some damage to TY, but it seems like TY is basically stabilized here. Huh. Now, Hold that thought, though, Artosis. Down here is another Link Baneling attack. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, too. That is a lot of Banelings. But you know what? He does have some Widow Mines. Looks like, oh, the Widow Mines not necessarily targeting what they need to. Oh, that was a good hit, though. And he'll lose quite a few SCVs once again. 
Meanwhile, the drop is cleaned up over Ooh. here. You can see T.Y. not with his uh, screen over that uh, battle there for a little bit. Yeah, not as it finished up. More and more Lings piling out here to kill off as much as they can. Still more damage being dealt. Oh, God, that was a big Beautifully hit Beautifully done there. Ouch. That was a lot of SCVs taken out. This Jesus. is actually 31 SCVs to 62 drones, mm. which means if Zerg can regroup and do another powerful attack, it could kill the Terran. Yeah, that's, it's very true. This is a scary moment right now for TY. He's got 3-3 almost halfway done. Can he live to 3-3? Can he rebuild his economy? Because right now, True is still playing on a three-base economy, even though he has that fourth hatch done. This is a very small economy. This is not like a good long-term plan, but he's dealing enough damage that he definitely has the potential to kill off TY here. Let's see uh, if TY can do any damage over here in the bottom right expansion. And, yeah, he's definitely going to take this out, no problem. But there is an attack over here with the Lings and the Banelings. The third base is actually being lifted up. That location not occupied anymore by the Terran. I really and like the move to lift he that. Actually is gonna, is he actually going to attack into this? Yes, he is. He's going to attack all the way up the ramp here. Well, let's see what this Widowmine can do. Not the greatest hit. He definitely needs some more Widowmine hits. Oh, God, that is a lot of Banelings. But, again, once those explode, then, well, you know, that's that's the muscle of the attack's gone. Well, uh, Terran now down to 20, no, under 20 Ow. SCVs. Yeah, this may just be too much, Tasteless, especially with these landmines. These are so smart. Like, when you lose that many SCVs, you have to be landing your mules to make up for it. You can't yeah. be scanning everything, and he's going to have to. SCVs and Marines coming out here. I think this is I, I think, think this, this is it. it. Uh, yeah. I can't see this guy recovering from here. In fact, he could detonate those. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They never got detonated, but... <laughs> Well, I guess he cleans this up for now. Oh, you kidding yeah. me? He's busy macroing elsewhere. Yeah. Um, well, he's busy making more banelings over here. <laughs> it's a lot of banelings right there, Tasteless. You know, not that many marauders in this composition. He had a good amount of widow mines from time to time, but they all did eventually get taken out. This has been some good play by True, but if TY just held on a little bit better, didn't lose quite as many SCVs during all of this. I'm really I think he surprised. would have been able to take it pretty easily. I'm but really surprised we didn't see detonations on those mm. Broad Banelings, because it's not even like he just brought two there and then forgot. He actually had several little clumps of Broad Banelings. Yeah, he did. He he, you know, he put a lot of them down, and I think that eventually those will definitely be used if the game goes on long. But, uh, you know, it's... I guess he was just busy back at home macroing up, making sure he had enough units for any counterattack, because right now we do have actually a stronger army for Terran which is why he's made 36 Banes. He's like, well, I mean, as long as I clean this up, you don't really have the SCVs to make this army again. That's the yep. plan of true here. Also, we have another expansion over here at the top center. Really, if, if true plays this properly, he should close out this game. There's just not a lot the TY can do. He has a very small army, and there's just enough gas here for uh, true that he can just keep making Banelings, man. 44 Banelings yeah. actually out right now. That's true, but I mean, like, let's say that we see some great splitting, the Banelings aren't that effective. Just pure Zerglings at 2-2 against 3-3 Marine Marauder Medivac. Uh, TY will kill him at that point. So let's see. I mean, 44 Banes, that's really what True has here. I think it's these armies, ooh, I don't know if they can actually stop that much. Yeah. Um, Luckily for him, his mineral patch is almost gone, so his low SCV count doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the, the problem really is just that when you have enough Banelings, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter how good your micro is. You can micro yourself all the way across mm -hmm. the map, and the Banelings will still get there and kill you. I'm sorry, by the way. It looks like he actually canceled through three. Uh, that oh. actually makes a big difference on what I was talking about before. Because if he's like two upgrades up against Zerglings, you, you just mow right through him. This is a much what do, more What, what do you do? That. You mouth through him? You mouth through him. Is that you a word? never heard that? No. Yeah, oh, no, that's real. It's not like something Artosis made up. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. You and Paul can go talk about that. Look at that. Artosis knows a word we don't know. Yeah. Um. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, TY has to tap out there, True. Well, really, uh, uh, not the most common style of Zerg staying even no. on bases, but overpowering them, smashing out those drops, smashing out the army in the middle, and uh, doing some counterattacks. Yeah. And it, it was really this battle Zerg style, and it worked out very well. I think I know what the movie was about. Um, well, the thing is, do you think that style can actually work twice? Because um, after seeing that style, I think you can back up and say, okay, if he does that again, I know I know how to handle this. I have to be a little bit more I, defensive, 
abuse drops a bit more because he had no anti-air. That's why he made a nine queens total in that game. Well, I, I, I think you're right uh, with it not working again in a best of three. Yeah. Or at yeah. least not in the next game in a best of three because by then the other players would have adapted. I think that strategy was chosen specifically because the map was merry-go-round. Yeah, it definitely could be. Yeah. Merry-go-round is a, a good choice for a strat like that. You always know, hide at that other third and you can't wall up everything. All right, so the map that TY picks is Catalina. Okay, well, this is one where uh, there's not as many, like, counterattack. Well, I mean, there's paths you can counterattack down, but they're, like, kind of thin, they're longer. And for drops, it's probably the best Terran map. Even if, like, Ling Muta Bane is chasing you down, you just drop on a cliff that the Lings and Banes can't get to quickly, and the Mutas can't engage you. So yeah. you get to save a lot more medevacs on this map. Uh, I think it's a really good choice by him. Uh, although, you know, part of the reason why I like Terran's choosing it against Zergs, True didn't use any mutas, so that part might be, you know, that part might not even matter in this game. Well, you know, that's not True's only style we just saw back there. Yeah. It's, it's definitely... It's one that he likes. It's but. one that he likes. Uh, it, it's a good strat, a good tool to have in your in your build order toolkit, you know? For sure um, it is, it, yeah. If you're going to win a best of five, a best of seven, or even in this case, just a best of three, you need to have a variety of different play styles so your opponent can adapt. I think that was a great one to open up with, mm -hmm. um, but we could see a completely different uh, approach here from True yeah. in map number two. Couldn't agree more with you there, Tasteless. I'm excited to see what he's going to end up doing, because I think for TY, you know, being the Terran player, unless he has some sort of mech play planned out, I think it's going to be pretty standard, not too different from what we've seen. Um, and it looks like game number two actually is not loaded up yet. There might be a small delay here. Um, normally we hop right into it. That's right. Uh, you know, actually... Okay, oh, no, no, it's, it's loaded, loaded, loaded up. All right, I thought it was uh, another technical delay. I had a little story to tell you, but I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, game number two is almost ready here. It is a ZBT. True, up one game. Can TY win this or the next? And the next, excuse me, or is True going to close this out with a two?